how to connect a custom domain to GrooveFunnels. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily connect your custom domain to GrooveFunnels. I'll go over exactly what you need to do inside Groove to get it set up and walk you through the entire process. Hi, my name is Rob Vizera and welcome to the ETA. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to set up a custom domain in Groove. Now we've done this video several times now. Um, we are now in July of 2021 and it has changed significantly over the past couple months um, and even so much as over the past couple weeks here. So um, what we're going to do today, we're going to take a couple minutes and we're actually going to walk through how to set up your custom domain step by step. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be using Namecheap for our domain um, register. And uh, otherwise, when then we're going to be actually be connecting it directly to Groove Pages to one of our sites that we have here in Groove Pages. So, share my screen, and so you guys can follow along with what is going on. And let me make sure I got the right screen selected here. All right, all right. So here we go. So what we're going to start off with first of all is, like I said, I have a domain already called Dead Sea Experience, and I'm actually going to be. This is the the domain we're actually going to be connecting here. So. Um, what we're going to do is in Namecheap, once you come in here, find the domain that you want. If you need to buy a new domain, that's totally cool too. But otherwise, um, I'm going to go ahead and use an existing domain that I already have. So I'm going to go, go here. I'm just going to click on Manage just to get to the right screen. Okay? So the very first thing I'm going to do here is, is get there. Once we do that, now we're going to go into the Groove side of things. And this is where we're going to start um, making some entries and stuff. So very first thing here in Groove is once you come into Groove, right, you're going to look at a page kind of similar to this. Okay, what you can do right here is you can come here and go into My Account. So click on the little icon in the top corner, go to My Account. And what you're going to see here is you're going to come up to the Account screen. Once you do that, we're going to click on Domains. And now it gives you a couple options here on what exactly you want to do. So you can either choose a GroovePages subdomain where essentially it be whatever name you want, .groovepages.com, or it's going to be your custom domain. Um, and like I said, we're going to be using a custom domain here. And the domain I'm actually going to be using is deadseaexperience.com. All right, so we're going to just go ahead and click on that. We're going to click on Manage. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on Add Domain. OK? And now we're going to come up with this screen that's going to say, what kind of domain do I want to add? Do I want to add a full domain and subdomain setup, or do I want to use legacy? Um, in this case, we're going to use the full domain and subdomain setup right here. OK, so we're going to click on that, and we're going to click on Next. Then it's going to say, add the subdomain. What domain would I like to use? Um, and like I said, I'm going to be using Dead Sea Experience. And I like to copy and paste, so there's no issues at all with um, mistakes or anything. So we're going to put that in there. We're just going to click on Next. All right. So it says, connect your domain in a few simple steps. Log in your account. Add the domain. Um, add these two name servers. So Basically, what this is saying here is we're going to have to go into Namecheap. We're going to have to add these two name servers right here, and it gives us a nice little copy button. So we're going to go ahead and click on the copy of that first one. We're going to come into Namecheap over here. And under the name server setting, we're going to do a drop down. We're going to click on Custom DNS. And when it does that, it's going to give us two spots to put the name servers. And this really hasn't changed much here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in that one. I'm going to come back over here, copy that, come back over here, and paste that as well. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little checkbox to save it. All right, so we had that updated now. Good. Okay, so we have those two things updated. So we're going to come over here. And we're just going to click on next. It's going to say click on the validate button to below to validate your domain. Click on I'll do it later if I want to do it later. Um, we'll go ahead and do it right now. We're just going to hit validate DNS records and let's see what it says. Um, it says domain has been connected successfully. This process normally takes. In this case, it took, what, like a minute, which is awesome. Um, and sometimes this actually does take a little bit longer. So if it does take a while, um, just go ahead and just keep hitting that hitting that validate. The other thing you can do is you can go into whatsmydns.net, and you can go ahead and put the domain in here as well. And I'll show you what you can do. You can come in here, drop this down to NS, which stands for name server, and do search. Okay, and you can see that it's already started to propagate. So you, that's why it validated really quickly. If you come in here and do this and see a bunch of X's or see other markings in here, it just means that that your update on the name server here has not taken yet. And it may take a little while. Again, I've seen this taken as quick as two minutes, which you just saw, or I've seen it taken as much as two, three hours sometimes. Um, sometimes it could even take longer if you were working on some weird domains, like a dot link I've seen take almost a day sometimes. 
Um, so just kind of be aware of that. But once you've done that, it says a complete process. We're going to go ahead and hit complete process. And then it's going to say, choose the primary app for this domain. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that. And we're going to click on Groove Pages because that is what we actually want on this one. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit apply. Now it's going to go ahead and do what it needs to do. And we are already in now. So good. So we've already defined this particular domain and we have it set for Groove Pages and we are good to go. All right. So the other thing you can do is once you click on one of these, you can actually add a subdomain right in here. Um, and we're not going to go into that right now. We're just going to go ahead and leave this um, as the main domain. So once we have our main domain, we go over here and click on update. And now we can go ahead and go to our Groove pages. And we're going to go to our Dead Sea Experience page right here. So we have this cool funnel right here for one of the products that we're selling right now. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select publish. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to, on the drop down, I'm going to say custom domain. And then on the domain drop down here, I'm going to select Dead Sea Experience. Oh, I got to select the location. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and select root, um, which basically means it's going to start on the Dead Sea Experience here. So, um, all right, let's go ahead and publish that. And we will go ahead and try this one more time here. So um, there we go. All right, so we got the green, which is what we wanted right here, which is good. So let this go ahead and publish. And once we do that, I'm going to go ahead and test this. We're just going to go ahead to deadseaexperience.com. So there we go. Okay, so like I said, just took a, just had to basically republish this one more time. And now if you go to deadseaexperience.com, you can see it automatically does your, um, does your secure server in there as well. And just like that, everything is published. So pretty slick, right? Took very, what did that take about, call it five minutes to actually do. Um, so that worked out really well. The new changes in here are definitely pretty slick and they work well. So um, if you guys have any questions at all about how to do this, go ahead and drop me a comment in the um, uh, in this live below here and just put a big Q in front of it. I'll make sure I get back and answer any questions or um, you can just reach out to me right through Facebook and I will answer the questions there as well. So hopefully that helped you guys out. I know there's been a bunch of changes to how we actually do the custom domain stuff, but um, but the changes work really well now. So um, like I said, what did it take? Five minutes to actually set up. So if you guys have any other questions at all, let me know. Otherwise, we'll talk to you soon. All right, quick training. So talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.